Cherokee Nation is acknowledging that it made a mistake in not extending citizenship rights to freedmen and their descendants until 2017, something its principal chief says should have been done 156 years ago under the Treaty of 1866. Kennedy Sepulveda, who reports on Native Affairs, joins us now with more on the long history that has culminated with an apology from Chuck Hoskin Jr. Kennedy. That's right, Rich. And nearly 12,000 freedmen descendants have enrolled in the Cherokee Nation in the last five years. But just this month, the Cherokee National History Museum in Tahlequah, Oklahoma, unveiled a new exhibit that honors freedmen and shares their story. We have to recognize that there were times that we imposed trauma on others. Chuck Hoskin Jr., Principal Chief of the Cherokee Nation, says the tribe is facing its history by embracing the spirit of equality. And I think any nation is a stronger nation if they tell the whole of their story, the tragedy, the triumph, and the chapters that are dark and difficult. And I hope people come here and, first of all, understand that that happened. But I also hope they come away with some hope that we're in a new era in which, yes, we're recognizing that history, but we're also working towards collective healing. The new exhibit details slavery and emancipation on the Cherokee Reservation, details of the Treaty of 1866, the vote that relinquished Cherokee freedmen citizenship, and the fight to reestablish those rights. The most compelling part of the stories that were submitted by the Cherokee freedmen community that are a large-scale installation of those community voices that tell the story that have not been told for more than a century. My mother worked extremely hard for the rights of her, her children, her family, all of us. And so I must say, I'm thankful. I'm thankful that we've moved forward and I am proud to say I am Cherokee. The Cherokee Nation, along with the Chickasaw, Choctaw, Seminole, and Muscogee Creek Nations, signed treaties in 1866 that abolished slavery in the tribes and granted full citizenship to freedmen. Article 9 of the Treaty of 1866, signed by the Cherokee Nation, states all freedmen and their descendants shall have all rights of native Cherokees. However, in 2007, the Cherokee people voted to define citizenship as by blood which cost 2,800 freedmen their tribal citizenship. Cherokee Nation reversed that decision in 2017, and the Cherokee Nation Supreme Court ruled to remove by blood from the Constitution in 2021. We are going to hold the United States accountable for every part of every treaty that we have. We can't do it if we refuse to or deny the existence of provisions in uh, the treaties that say, for example, we must give freedmen and their descendants all the rights of native Cherokees. The Seminole Nation also kept the long-standing promise to the Seminole freedmen, but three of the five tribes did not keep their promise from their eight.